Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited because today I'm making the video that I said I was gonna make on Instagram like two weeks ago, but it's fine, don't judge. Um, but yeah, so we're making protein buffalo cauliflower bites. I don't know, it's a lot to say. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm really excited to make them. I've been making them a lot recently. For some reason, I haven't been eating a lot of meat. There's no real reason behind it. I just haven't been doing it. So anyway, I can get my protein in as added bonus. So this has an unflowered protein mix in it. I am using my Unjerry unflavored protein, duh. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop into it. I'm gonna, I've got everything prepped. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys and then we'll get started. Just a little bit ahead of myself and I already started putting my cauliflower into the mix. But yeah, so I just went ahead and chopped up some cauliflower. Just use frozen, honestly. If there's no point in chopping your own, it's way too extra, but anyway, what can I do? Um, and then I'm using a third of a cup of all-purpose all flour, um, one scoop of my unjury unflavored protein, oops, um, three tablespoons of egg whites, and then I have my Frank's Red Hot Sauce, and then everything is inside of this bowl, so I'm gonna add the rest of my cauliflower. I already mixed my mixture up. I'm gonna coat everything, and I'm gonna put it on my sheet pan. So I just got the cauliflower coated. I wanted to show you really quickly, um, just because it feels like it's really hard to work with, but you just gotta really work it in there. It makes like almost a batter. So yeah, if it feels like it's not working, just keep mixing. that is it I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this in the oven I've already preheated it to 450 let them cook for about 20 minutes I'm gonna pull them out toss them in some buffalo sauce cook them again but yeah um, it's pretty simple I love this recipe and I will show you guys the finished product all right cool so I just pulled up my cauliflower bites out of the oven all I'm going to do is toss these into a bowl toss them in some Frank's Red Hot and then put them back in the oven for another 15 minutes so yeah just keep watching <laughs> So here's the finished product. Like I said, this is super, super simple and super delicious. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you decide to give these cauliflower bites a try, let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, I'll make sure I have all the recipe stuff linked down below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.